Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Lessons. I hope this video finds you well. Thank you so much for joining me today. And in today's video, I'm gonna be revealing my third and final new fragrance from the company Navitus Parfum, a collaboration of three fragrances that I've worked on with the brand. I'm so excited to tell you all about this brand new fragrance to be released very soon, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin this video and I tell you all about my third new fragrance from the brand Navitus Parfum and I tell you about the inspiration behind it, the notes, the performance, how it smells, so on and so forth, I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like reviews, top tens, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. So I have already revealed my other two fragrances that I'm gonna be releasing in collaboration with Navitus Parfum. The first one is an aquatic fragrance. I mentioned that it's inspired by Homer's The Odyssey. It's a beautiful, composition by perfumer Jorge Lee who has done many fragrances for Nishane as well as many other niche brands and the second fragrance that I spoke about is inspired by The Great Gatsby which is one of my favorite novels of all time that fragrance is composed by Francis Kirkjohn and Jerome de Marino it's a beautiful gourmand that goes in several different directions with a cocoa scones accord there's orange from Brazil, there's also Venezuelan tonka bean. It's an absolutely amazing fragrance in my opinion. Took several tweaks in order to get it right. And in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing the third fragrance that I plan on releasing. Now, one of the things that I had mentioned in the previous couple of videos that I released where I was talking about my three upcoming fragrances is that I wanted to go back to the basics in releasing these fragrances. And so, for example, uh, with the first one, that's a fragrance that is inspired by the spirit of travel. And the name Navitus is a Latin word, but it also has roots in the word nauta, which means mariner or voyager. And so the first fragrance is inspired by that aspect of the name's etymology, if you will. The second fragrance that I uh, recently revealed and disclosed here on the channel is a fragrance that is inspired by the other meaning of Navitus, which is energy. Well, today's fragrance is inspired by the meaning of Navitus, which means passion. And of course, I chose the name Navitus Parfum for the brand because People who are into niche fragrances are very passionate about fragrances. And you think of the word passion, a couple of phrases that are associated with it are like burning passion. You also hear people say uh, he found a spark in the relationship. Uh, some, Of course, you also have dating sites called Tinder. So the element of fire is often associated with the word passion, right? And so kind of ignite the relationship, ignite the passion, so on and so forth. And so I wanted a fragrance that had a fiery accord. And I wanted to play around with a fiery accord, but I didn't want to resort to something like Cade or Birch or one of these ingredients that you hear about so often and that become such mainstays in the perfume world. And of course, I didn't want this fragrance to smell overly smoky because I didn't want to compromise the versatility or the wearability of the fragrance. So let me go ahead and reveal what piece of literature this fragrance is very loosely related to or inspired by. And this is one of my favorite books. It's had a profound impact on me, especially sort of viewing the connection that it has to today's world and how much of an extended metaphor I think is being applied through this book in relation with the world today. And this book by Ray Bradbury is called Fahrenheit 451. I remember this reading this in high school for the first time. And of course the protagonist is a fireman and his job is to uh, pretty much set books on fire because he is living in a time of censorship. And in this book in particular, he kind of has a change of heart. Uh, a lot of things go wrong with his life and he ends up towards the end of the book becoming very passionate about books and literature uh, to the point where he joins a community of avid book lovers and he becomes very passionate about books. So in terms of the perfumers who worked on this fragrance, we actually have two very accomplished perfumers and the perfumers are Lucas Suzak and Olaf Larsen. 
Now, I've actually had the pleasure of meeting Lucas Suzak in person when I visited Spain in 2020, and he is such a humble, down-to-earth person, incredibly knowledgeable. He was so welcoming, and we tried tons of raw materials together. And of course, if, for those of you who don't know, Lucas Suzak is the perfumer behind The Game by Davidoff, 212 VIP for Men by Carolina Herrera, Jubilation 25 for Women by Amouage, Reflection for Men by Amouage, and tons of other niche and designer fragrances. Of course, Olaf Larsen also has a huge resume, and I would encourage you to check out both of those perfumers. They're both incredibly skilled and incredibly talented. And this is a fragrance that I have been working on for a long, long time now, and it took a lot of tries to get it right. There were some variations that were a bit brighter, a bit darker, but I knew I wanted an element of smoke in this fragrance. I didn't want to go down the typical route of using birch or cade. I wanted to establish a sense of smoke or a hint of smoke using some more unconventional ingredients. And I think it's a combination of coffee and nutmeg in the opening of this fragrance that really produces that magical introduction. So you have the coffee, you have the nutmeg. There's also a little bit of Peruvian pink pepper, and then you get a touch of cinnamon as you make your way into the heart of this fragrance. And so you have a lot of spices. Sometimes it leans in a darker and smoky direction. Of course, that roasted coffee note that you have in here definitely adds to the smokiness. But there's also a touch, a touch of sensuality and a touch of sweetness because I did want this to be a very romantic and passionate fragrance. It definitely has this suave characteristic about it. The pink pepper is a little bit rosy and you combine it with the labdanum that's in the heart of this perfume. The labdanum is very exotic. It, it's a very exotic resin. It also has a vanillic overtone. And so you combine that with the cinnamon and the pink pepper, and the darkness is actually retained in the heart of the perfume because there's also leather in the fragrance. And so you have this leather accord residing in the heart. And then of course, once you segue into the base, you do have the peppery quality that's coming from the cedar wood. You also have some blonde woods, which create a bit of smoothness and then the musk as well which also adds to the sensuality and so the sensuality is kind of transitioning from the top where you have that Peruvian pink pepper to the heart where you have that labdanum and a touch uh, of the cinnamon as well and then of course in the base when you have that clean and sensual musk and it's a really pleasant and masterful dichotomy in my opinion between these dark smoky and enigmatic ingredients but also these slightly sweet rosy, not too rosy, but the slightly sweet and sensual ingredients on account of the labdanum, the cinnamon, and the musk. I could not be more satisfied with this fragrance, and I'm telling you, I am so excited to share this fragrance with the world because this smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. Lucas Suzak and Olaf Larsen did such an incredible job with this fragrance, and the more I wear it, the more I fall in love with it, and I have about four of these bottles, and when I tell you that I do like one or two sprays of this fragrance, and I smell it the whole day, it's no joke. A lot of the ingredients in here have a very low rate of volatility, very high molecular structure, including the cedar wood, including the musk, including the blonde woods, including the coffee, believe it or not, even though it's sitting uh, towards the top of the note pyramid, it's such an awesome fragrance, very passionate. It has a bit of that smoky vibe, but it only adds to the sophistication of the perfume. I think this is the type of head turner fragrance that is going to provoke people to ask you what you're wearing. And I can't wait to hear what types of experiences people have when they do wear this fragrance. And so, I certainly want to take a moment to thank every single one of you for watching this video, for supporting me on this fragrance journey that I've been on here on YouTube since 2012. It's been nine plus years that I've been doing this and sometimes it feels like it's only been a year or two, you know, when you're having fun and you're doing something that you're so passionate about. It seems like the time really does fly by, but I certainly want to take the time to thank every single one of you for your kind comments, your positivity, your undying support. It really, really means a lot to me. And when these fragrances do come out, you will notice that they are significantly more inexpensive than the other fragrances on the Navitus Parfum website. 
Thank you once again for watching. I love you all. I'm gonna leave a card up here if you're interested in checking out my first announcement video and then of course subsequently you can watch the announcement video for every individual fragrance that I release thereafter. But thank you all so much for everything. Love you all. I'm so excited to share these fragrances with you. Have an amazing day. We'll see you soon. Bye.